So I have some meatballs left over from last night. These are actually kofta, Middle Eastern meatballs. But it's not enough to feed the whole family. So I'm gonna reinvent this into a delicious spaghetti bolognese sauce. I'm gonna put a little olive oil. Saute some garlic. So I'm just gonna break apart these meatballs. And I love that this saves me a step of sauteing the ground meat and then draining the fat and then adding the sauce, so. And now our tomato sauce. I'm just using an organic marinara. So here's a trick from my grandmother. She would rinse out the pasta jar by adding a little water. It thins the sauce just enough. If you had some leftover meatloaf and you could just crumble the meatloaf in with this tomato sauce too, that would be a great alternative. All right, I'm gonna put the top on and let this cook for just a second. And while I do that, I'm gonna grab my spaghetti squash out of the oven. Here's my spaghetti squash. I baked this at 350 for about 45 minutes. I just drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil and salt. In addition to it having this like lovely spaghetti-like consistency. And having a nice little crunch, it's really tasty. It's also super high in antioxidants, beta carotene, alpha carotene, and any way to get more vegetables in my diet, my kids' diet is great. Okay, so that looks delightful. Let's check on our sauce. That smells like a sauce that has been cooking for hours. And it was maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, here's what I do for a final touch. It's not traditional bolognese, but I love to add the tiniest splash of cream. So I guess this is maybe in between a vodka and a bolognese sauce. And maybe that wasn't the tiniest splash of cream, but just a little goes a long way. I love the, the way that it changes the color of this pasta sauce too. I'm gonna take my spaghetti squash and make a big mound in the middle of my plate. I'm gonna add my bolognese sauce right on top. Just garnish, a little parsley, and a very generous sprinkling of Parmesan. God, that is so good. For more recipes on easy weeknight meals, just go to my website, dinnerreinvented.com.